Here's the latest overview of the PowerCube iteration version 16.8. It's about the seventh or eighth major revision we had on the PowerCube. We decided here to go to two single 18 horsepower engines, which means we're going to use two hydraulic pumps and a common reservoir. The engines themselves have built in tanks and mufflers, which is a great savings because we made the gas tank before in a power cube and we had to buy the muffler. These engines are 18 horsepower, so one power cube is now 36 horsepower, which is quite convenient for in terms of the amount of power. There's the hydraulic cooling fan, hydraulic reservoir, nine gallons in the back, all off-shelf parts, meaning much easier to build and put together than before. The advantage of the smaller 18 horsepower engines is that they're very, very common, and they also have a pool start, so if the electrical system goes out, you can still start these using a manual uh, uh, crank pool start, uh, a pull cord, on the engines themselves. So one battery, one hydraulic reservoir, except two motors, and uh, one, one control system for plumbing, easier to build, 36 horsepower. The biggest advantage here is that uh, the engines themselves all also are much less money. They're, they cost about $300 for the engine, as opposed to the 27 horsepower engine, which cost about nine hundred dollars when you included the gas tank and muffler no just a muffler to go with it and the gas tank was still extra it wasn't included in the nine hundred dollars so this is actually half as expensive for the given horsepower and we're going with that and testing it out how well it works to have two engines instead of one where you can also for various applications you can just be turning on one engine for lower power and two engines for higher power so you're actually potentially using less gas to do certain tasks. That's a brief overview.